climbs as high as the moon. You're allowed to sing songs about yourself. Where she was going, I couldn't but ask her, for in her hand she carried a broom. Old woman, old woman, old woman, quaff high. Whither, ah, whither, you're going so high. I'm going to sweep the cobwebs from the sky. May I come with you a by and by. Okay, Dad, and when were you born? In 1942, on the 24th of April. But it, they made it the 25th of April because it was 5 to 12 by the time they tidied my mother up and me. <laughs> <laughs> she was so disabled. So they said, well, just shove them onto the next day. So I'm really uh, on mixed a, a bit older than I was when I was born. So I'm only 76 now. Or oh, coming 76, I'm sorry. You know, that's how it goes. Is it because they wanted you to be on Anzac Day? Well, they thought, oh, we'll shift him with the next mode, you know. Probably Anzac Day didn't even exist. I mean, it was like, it was like 300 years yeah, ago. Yeah, I was an it? Anzac baby. Uh, yeah, yeah. And what's some advice for your grandchildren? Well, I would say, <clears throat> honour your parents. They may not right. always agree with what you uh, think and do. Uh, because God will bless you. God will bless you if you honour your parents. And even when they're old and decrepit and walking around with a walking stick, still honour them. And, and don't give them stress. As I said to uh, Ava, that God can take people away from you and that can be your parents. So, you know, so you have to treat them with respect and love. Because they, they're working for you, really. They're going to hope you have a good life when in the future. Gonna When's euthanasia going to come in? Why are you asking that, Mum? Um, <laughs> What's that euthanasia? Is it youth, U-T-E-H-E-U-E-U-T-A-N-E? So, can you now tell your youth. grandchildren Euthanasia. some uh, advice on parenting? <laughs> advice on parenting follows. What happens is... Um, a, a young couple get married they have the blessing of God upon them and as time goes by um, the, 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 the female partner of the marriage um, has a baby and so they, they look after this baby because it's very precious some people can only have one baby so Ruth done a very great job. She had four babies. Eight? Right? Four babies. Four? Yeah. Oh, yeah. She had Alison, Wayne, Bernadette, and Diane. <coughs> and as a, as a parent, as a father, I'm very thrilled to know that they're all Christians, they love Jesus, and they're very active in that area. And they've all been very successful and they're very diligent workers, which pleases a parent to know that they have um, excelled in life uh, and done reasonably well. And they're trying to do that with their children as well, to see that they um, are well positioned in life when they get a little bit older. So that's And what's the tips on parenting as opposed to the facts of life? <laughs> huh? Well, the first tip would be to dislocate uh, dislo dis dislocate the TV and only have uh, you can't let them watch Crash Bang Wallop all the time because it, it meddles with their brain and that makes them aggro and I came in here and watched a little girl here watching TV and I said why don't you watch the Darling Buds of May it's beautiful you watch it tomorrow